An inquest has been taking place into the death of Brenda Leyland, who was found dead days after her alleged online trolling activities towards the McCanns became public. Well, Sky's Ashish Joshi is there for us. And Ashish, uh, what can you tell us about the conclusion of this inquest? Well, it concluded with the coroner saying that she was convinced that Brenda Leyland had taken her own life. So the conclusion was suicide. It was a very short session this morning, lasted for just under two hours in total. We heard from six witnesses and had a statement read out by, uh, from, which was from her son, Benjamin, who now lives in Los Angeles in the United States. We heard from toxicologists who'd prepared a report saying that this was probably, um, the death was caused by helium. And we heard from the police officers who'd investigated the death and two Sky News employees, including crime correspondent Martin Brunt and the head of news gathering, Jonathan Levy. I'll read you just a little bit of what uh, Benjamin Leyland said. He told the coroner's court that his mother suffered from a history of mental depression, that she'd um, in the past considered taking her own life and that she was uh, troubled by anxiety and depression. But he said at the end, I've no doubt in my mind that the panic and fear I heard in her voice after the Sky News interview was the final straw that pushed my mum to do what she did. She was broken, destroyed. Martin Brunt also told the court that he'd had a phone conversation with Mrs Leyland about the interview and she had told him, oh, I've thought about ending it all, but I'm better. I've had a drink. I've spoken to my son who has told me I've been a silly, stupid woman. He said that he could not have gauged from that conversation that this was a serious intention. It was a throwaway remark. And the coroner, Catherine Mason, said, I'm satisfied that although Mrs. Leyland had a mental history that others would not necess necessarily have known, that she was suffering from mental health, the very fact she mentioned of wanting to take her own life, but then dismissing it. And I don't think it could have been known to anybody that there was a definite intention for her to take her own life. Sky News has this afternoon uh, issued a statement concerning this case. I'll read that to you. It says the team at Sky News followed its editorial guidelines and pursued a story in a responsible manner that we believed was firmly in the public interest. Brenda Leyland's tragic death highlights the unforeseeable human impact that the stories we pursue can have and Sky News would like to extend its sincere condolences to her family. Ashish, thank you.